Do you know it's story time, story time, story time? Do you know it's story time in our classroom today? And the title of this story is Little Chanclas by Jose Lozano. And in this story, we have two vocabulary words. Our first vocabulary word is sandal. Can you see that word with me? Sandal. A sandal is a light shoe that you wear that has an opening for your toes. Sandal. And friends, ch chanclas are a Spanish word for sandals. Our second vocabulary word is pout. Can you say that word with me? Pout. And pout is to make an expression to show that you're sad. You put your bottom lip forward to make a pouting face. Pout. Now let's begin our story. Little Chanclas. There was once a tiny girl named Lily Luhan, but her friends and family called her Little Chanclas because everywhere Lily went, the slippity slappity sound of her old flip flops was sure to follow. The sound made by her tiny feet was faint at first, but grew louder and more annoying the closer she came. So much commotion. So slippity slap, slippity slap. Slippity slap. If you were in Chata's market, you could hear the slippity slappity sounds of little Chancla's flip flops coming down the aisles, followed, of course, by Lily's pretty face. You could hear her slippity slapping down at the Department of Motor Vehicles, at Benny's Burger Taria, and at Sammy's Panaderia. The slippity slapping went from sunrise to sunset. Each night, her tired little pair of shoes rested under her bed, never leaving her side. Slippity slappity, slippity slappity. Lily's mother and her big sister, Lulu, could not remember where the noisy little pair of chanclas came from. Maybe relatives from Mexico brought them or they came from a clearance table at Footsie's Shooteria. Lily's mother tried to bribe Lily into exchanging her old flip-flops for shiny new sandals with tight straps. But Lily just frowned, got very upset, and started to cry. So there's our vocabulary word, sandals. A light shoe that you wear that has an opening for your toes. Lily's big sister, Lulu, took her to Googie's Boutique for Girls. That was where Lulu bought all her stylish clothes and shoes. Let's get you some cute red Mary Janes, said Lulu. But Lily just turned and slippity slapped away. Little Chanclas flippity flopped through a whole school year. Six quinceañeras, four baptisms, three weddings, two graduations, and 16 family barbecues. Yes, there was only one thing Lily loved more than her chanclas at, and that was a party. One day at a family barbecue, Lily was dancing to a thumping Norteno tune with her aunt Orf Orphelia. She twirled like a top to every song her chancla slippity slapping like castanets. And then what had happened, finally happened. Lily's little chanclas fell apart. The frill straps that held the sandals together finally broke in two. They flew across the dance floor. One hit Mrs. Garachur's sky-high jungle and fell into the guacamole bowl. The other landed near Chucho, a bulldog famous for chewing things up, which he did with one speedy slurp. Poor Lily ran up and down her Aunt Ophelia's backyard looking for chancla remains, but there were none to be found. That same day, Chucho came down with a serious case of chancla fever. 
His owners took him to the vet late that night because he looked a little woozy. But Chu Chu was wide awake and chewing things up early the next day. Poor Lily. For days she was upset and cranky, concerned tias, primos, and primas. Brought an assortment of shoes to replace her beloved chanclas, but nothing interested Lily. She's like Cinderella's bratty sister, pouted Lulu. So there's our second vocabulary word, pout, to make a sad face. I'd give anything to be in her shoes. Her mother's embarrassed smile turned into a serious frown once she's once she'd escorted escorted the last relative out. Hmm. So, why do you think mom looks upset here? I think mom's upset because all the family members tried to give Lily new shoes, but she didn't want new shoes. She's making a pouting face. Lily wore an old pair of sneakers that blistered her feet. She then went barefoot for a couple of days until her mother finally sat her down and said, "Listen." I've had enough of your stubbornness. No shoes means no school, no relatives, no friends, and most of all, no parties. Lily only sighed and buried her tiny face deeper into her arm. Bang, bang, bang! Open up! Said someone with a very deep voice. I've got something for my little chanclas that will surely please her. Lily sprang up to open the door, and there stood Granny Lola, carrying a tall stack of shoe boxes and wearing a great big grin. Here, my little Lily, my tiny flower, look what I brought you! The old lady said, kicking her overnight suitcase into the house. She placed the boxes side by side. Lily began to open them one at a time. Box after box, Lily was amazed to find chanclas in every style and color, and they were all hers. <gasps> wow! Look at all her new chanclas. How does Lily look now? She looks happy. Ay, mama! Lily's mother said she can't wear sandals all her life. Why not? Her mother said, "You did until you got married. Now let my Lily be." The old lady handed her and Lulu a shoebox too. Now erase those sour faces and put your new chanclas on. And off all four of them went, slippity slapping down the street, the Suki Sushiteria, Lily's favorite place to eat. But Lily eventually grew. To love other types of shoes, she wore elegant, sporty, colorful, high-heeled shoes and even leather moccasins. Right now, her favorite shoes are her cleats. People can hear her clickety clackety ruckus as she makes her way onto the soccer field. Soon, they'll all roar as she scores yet another goal. Go, little chanclas! And so, friends, do you have a special pair of shoes that you like to wear all the time, or do you have something that you like to carry with you all the time? If you do, let me know. I hope you enjoyed our story, Little Junklas. Till next time, bye, friends.